this is algebra one and this is a lesson seven. I just made this worksheet up myself and we handed this out in class. This is mainly for those students that were gone because they were taking pictures or something and you need some help. So I'm gonna go over this real quick, just like I did it in class, but notice this first line. Our goal is to write an equation of this line. And we talked last week about what is slope. <clears throat> So, real quick, let me take this other piece of paper. And remember, they use the letter M for slope. And slope is defined as the rise over the run. You're always comparing on a line how much it rises, how much it goes up and down, compared to how much it runs or how much it goes left and right. Okay? So, let's think about this. Here I have a line. You can take any two dots, it doesn't matter what dots you pick. So, for example, let's just say I'm going to pick, do you see this dot right here? and this dot right here. I'm just gonna make a right triangle. You always wanna make your triangle on top of the line. And I'm gonna count between these two dots how much it went up. So let me see here, it went up one, two, three, four. So it went up four, so that's its rise, and it ran from here to here, it went one, two. So when I say, what was the slope? Notice right here on this little paper, I've got a little M for slope. I would say rise over run. So it went four over two, which is two. Okay, so my slope is 2. You could have picked any two dots you want. For example, what if I would have picked these two? Okay, notice again, I'm just going to make a little right triangle between those two dots. Do you see but to get from here to here before I make the turn that it went up 2? And to go from here to here, it went up 1. So you would get 2 over 1, which is still 2. I mean, either way you look at it, your slope is 2. It doesn't matter what two, which two points you pick. Okay, this little b is your y-intercept, and I wrote it right up here. This is the famous equation that everybody needs to know. It's your slope-intercept formula. It's y equals mx plus b, and the b stands for, hey, where does it hit the y-axis? Notice on this one, it's hitting, the. this is your y-axis right here. It's hitting right here at zero. So my b would be zero. So when you're writing an equation for a line, you always want to fill in for your m and your b. So your equation would be y equals, your slope is two, don't forget to always write your x, and you could write plus zero, because that's where it hits the y-axis. So actually, I probably don't even need this part, and so my equation would just be y equals 2x, because who needs zero, all right? Okay, so what about this one? Let's find your slope on this one. So take any two points you want, and I just want to show you, you can take any two. Usually, if it goes through zero, zero, I use that one just because it's easy, but you're going to make a right triangle. So notice I did that. Count how many times it goes. How how far does it go up? Okay, notice it goes up two units. So if I start at the lower point and I go up, it went up two. Notice I'm running to the left to get to my other point. So since I'm running to the left, I'm going to call it a negative value. And it's going one, two, three. So my slope is two over negative three. So I'm going to write it like that. Really, remember a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So this would really be negative. Oops. 2 over 3. You can put the negative out front. It doesn't matter where you put it. Also, realize this is going downhill. If I'm traveling over here and I'm on my bike, do you see how you're going downhill? So it's going to have negative slope. And remember the very first one we did? If you're traveling over here on your little bike and all of a sudden you're going uphill, so it's going to have positive slope. So right here where I have my little M, I'm going to say my slope is a negative 2 thirds. My B. B is, where does it hit the y-axis? And right there, it's hitting at zero. So my B is zero again this time. So my equation is y equals my slope, which is negative two-thirds x, and then you write plus the y-intercept, which in this case, it's plus zero. Don't really need that since it's zero, so I don't even need that. So this is my answer right there. Okay, so let's come over here. Let's do one where it doesn't go through... <coughs> the origin. Let me get a different color because it makes it more fun. But take any two points. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just going to, here's a point here. Here's a point here. Make a right triangle out of those two. So I'm going to go up and over. Right triangle. Remember, it has to make a nice little L. So how far did it go up? It went up one to go from the lower point before you make the turn. And then it went over one, two, three, four. It went four to the left, so it's actually a negative four. So my slope is negative one fourth. You see how it's going downhill? So it's negative slope. I went up one over four, up one over four. So my slope is negative one fourth. Where does it hit the y-axis? Do you remember that's your b value right there? 
Right here is where it hits, it hits at one. So my y-intercept is one. My slope is negative one-fourth. We fill those in. So when you write your equation for your line, it's always y. y equals the slope, which is negative one-fourth. x, always write your x. And here's your y-intercept. Remember, that's where it hits. So here's your equation of your line right there. Okay, we're going to do one more here. Um, all of these have negative slope. Look, how do I know they all have negative slope? Because they're all going downhill. Good grief. Okay, so let's look at let's look at this one. First of all, let's find your slope. I'm going to use these two points here. Again, it doesn't matter what two points you pick. Just pick any two. You're going to get the same answer and make your little right triangle. So it went up one, two, three. It went over two. So my slope is, and by the way, it's going downhill. So it's negative three over two. It's always rise over run. You always make your little triangle on top of the line. It just makes it easier if we can be consistent. Okay, so there's my slope. My B, you always need to know what your y-intercept is. Look, here's your y-intercept, and that's where it hits the y-axis, and it's hitting at one, two, three. It looks like it's hitting at a negative three. So when you write your equation, I gotta get a different color, because it's fun. We're gonna do y equals, what's your slope? Negative three halves, x, don't forget your x. It hits at negative three, so I'm gonna do minus three. Okay, so let me just say this. You're gonna get some on your homework that looks like this. Let's say I have this. You should be able to look at this and tell me, what is the slope? Your slope is always the number right in front of the x. So here my slope is five. And if it said, where does it hit the y-axis, or what's the y-intercept, that's this value right here. It hits at negative 2. It's that simple. You surely don't want to make it hard. What if I had this one? Okay, what is your slope? Okay, what is the number right in front of x? That's how you always find your slope. It's the number right in front of x. Look, you don't see it, but there's a 1 there, so my slope's negative 1. And what's your y-intercept? I'm looking at Olivia, seeing if she can tell me. It's one half. It's this number right here on the end. If you don't see a number on the end, then it would be zero is where it's hitting the y-intercept. So this assignment hopefully is pretty straightforward, and hopefully you guys can do it rather quickly. So enjoy. And Olivia, you can turn that off.